Alright guys, we are finally here. We are finally going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. The final episode, thank God it is done because, oh my gosh, we got a lot to discuss about this season. Um, first of which, if you guys agree with me, cool. If not, that's cool too. But let's go ahead and... I'm going to say this. <clears throat> the Flash overall this season was a damn train wreck. What in the hell were they thinking with all this, man? I, I don't know. Because just watching the last episode, and and I'm just going to be talking about a lot of different spoilers here, guys, so I'm assuming you guys have already watched this. i like to know what the hell all this was. Because the whole ordeal with bringing... Uh, Barry and Iris's kids, right? It was a decent idea, but you screwed it up with giving Bart actually his son when it's supposed to be his grandson. That's where you screwed up on the first one. Whoever played Bart, the character Bart, Barry's son, he was extremely annoying. Um, at the very last part of the episode with Barry and Iris renewing their vows, I skipped the part of him seeing because I, I didn't care about that the the last episode i wanted to just hurry up and have it over with because there was so much wrong with it that i don't even know where to begin the whole season you don't even know where to begin because it was more of like iris and barry rather than barry and iris because you wanted to there were so many villains in this season it really made you wonder what the hell was going on because you had Mirror Master, right? Uh, Barry finally getting his speed back somehow. And the way that they treated the beginning of the so-called new season, or the second part of the season, where they wanted to bring back, you know, the Mirror Master and the way they treated that, that was stupid. And then giving Iris powers, and then uh, also having the, the Four Forces, and even Nora becoming a bad uh force and it just it was stupid i mean and then oh mom and dad dude they're not your parents it was really stupid and then bringing in godspeed again where he was so overpowered but yet even thawne could whoop him and even be able to beat him and be able to stab him now let's talk about that for one quick second here you're bringing thawne back which was a bad move because obviously we all know what thawne's gonna do uh also what the hell was with that sword fight? Is this Star Wars now? Is, is this what the DC Arrowverse has become? A damn wannabe Star Wars show? Or are, are you serious? Are, are the writers just pulling things out of their ass? Is that what we're coming to now? Because clearly you had shitty villains, shitty ass pulls, shitty characters get revealed, and everything else. You had, okay... You cared more about Allegra's story her, as a side character. Killer Frost, I like Killer Frost, but she's becoming more bland now, especially with this whole crush thing she has over this one. Yeah, this character is not even important. That's how much I care. I can't even remember his name. That's how important he is. And then you bring in Chester. Luckily, I remember his name. Very annoying character. And the character I really don't even care about. And he's getting more scenes than obvious, most of the main cast. Which made no sense. Then you want to bring in, of course, give Iris more airtime. And I, I don't know if it's the writing or if it's the acting of a lot of these, uh, th with these scenes. Because it just seems like that the writers don't know what the hell they're doing. That they're just wanting to throw something... And hope it sticks because with Cisco leaving and then Chester being the new IT guy, it doesn't work for me. I know that I guess everybody's about done with the show, which I firmly agree. I after this season, I thought uh, the season with um, I, I can't even remember the one with the floating chair. That's that's how much I remember that season. Uh, it, it was it was so crappy. I thought that season was bad. Now we got this season, and we have where 
this agent gets a wild hair up her ass going after Killer Frost over something, you know, over her time, and they want to get give her meta powers the variant where she can mimic any kind of power. Seriously, you gave Cecile more airtime, which is fine. But at the same time, they were wanting to concentrate on more side characters this season than the actual character. And let's not even forget about Barry. Barry, okay, is now supposedly faster than Fawn, which we find at the very end. Uh, getting these Flash or Thunderbolts to fight the um, Godspeed. Come on, man. Really? And then letting Iris have speed for half a second come on was that even really necessary did you really need her come on um guys we're the writers are giving iris too much like oh she's the main leader or she's a co-leader dude come on no 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 she can have her time she can have her shine but it is not the barry and iris show it's 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 the flash for a reason they have degraded the flash so much it's exhausting and I feel like they're just now on life support with this show. And we all know we're getting another season. But with everything that's been coming out with, you know, Daniel Panabaker possibly leaving. We got Grant Austin may leaving. We have, uh, of course, one place ours may be leaving. Uh, there, there's been a lot of people leaving. You know, one place Cisco left. The one played uh, Wells, you know, he left. So there was a lot of people, a lot of actors that finally just said, hey, I've, I've had my time. I'm good to go. But maybe it's because of the way the show or the writing is. I mean, who knows? I'm not blaming the actors. I'm not. Performance, uh, it's debatable. But I blame more of the writing. I blame the writing more than anything. Because the writing is absolutely horrible. It don't make sense. It don't make sense what you did with the Four Forces. It don't make sense with Mirror Master. It didn't make sense with Godspeed. It didn't make sense doing like, pulling the ass pull you did with Barry's son when it's supposed to be okay. Yeah, he's supposed to have twins. Not one older, not one younger. Twins. You idiots. Two. Bart is his grandson, not his son. So, what the hell? I'm not the biggest Flash fan, but you can easily look this up. You can easily look it up, ladies and gentlemen. Why is it so hard for writers... To not just go with the comic line and just tweak it a little bit. Not to tweak it to fit their narrative. Don't even get me started on the Elongated Man situation. We had a character that was actually making an improvement. But the actor did something years ago. Which people had a uh, crybaby on. And then they took him off the show because they didn't want no issues. But yet you have people like uh, Candace who, who plays of course... Uh, Iris, who says what she wants, which again, I don't have a big problem with her, but it's one of those where if anyone can say it regardless of gender or race, then you should be able to say it and apologize and move on. But the air, but I almost, I almost said Arrow. Flash has become getting very close to be like how Supergirl and Black Lightning is. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Those shows are ending. The, this show is about ready to end as well. I can guarantee you this show's about ready to end because I guarantee you we probably have one more season. I'm hoping it ends because I can't stand to look at this trash anymore. I hope these actors get better jobs or better freaking something because this is not the Flash that I want to remember. The Flash I want to remember is when we still had Arrow, when it still made sense. Not when they did an ass pull and they made it, oh, well, this is this and that is that and you don't even realize what's going on. And they're making Barry look like an idiot when he's actually smarter than what you tend to agree with. I mean, Barry's a lot smarter than what people give him credit for. He's a lot more powerful than he gives himself credit for, but yet he's always freaking weak. They're always making him weak. He's been doing this now for eight years. Almost. Eight years almost. What what the hell are you doing, CW? What the hell are you doing, Flash Riders? Seriously, this is the reason why the fan base is so diverse right now. This is the reason why the fan base is so diverted right now. Because so many people either stopped watching at season 3, or you have ones like myself that kept watching till now and has finally had enough. And stating how we feel, 
and either the actors get upset, the writers get upset, or you get fans get upset with other fans because, oh, well, you don't like it because it's this or because that. No, it's because it's actually stupid, and you have to actually look and actually pay attention to what they're doing. It makes no sense. I can't tell you how many videos that I've seen of fans of The Flash that this is their favorite character, that know more about The Flash than I do. And they hate this show now because it is an embarrassment to a Flash fan. Now, to me, you know, Grant's always going to be the Flash to me. Always. Always. I, you know, I was never much of a, of a Flash fan, but now, I mean, I like Flash a lot more. I just wish that they would give Barry a lot more respect than they do. And right now, they're barely giving Barry the Flash any kind of respect. They're treating him like a just a dumb male idiot. And that's not what he is. And, it, and it's really sickening to see. And especially when you have his kids come in. And they're wanting to basically show him, Oh, we gotta do this. We gotta do this. We need to do this. And it's like, come on. Really? Y'all apparently don't know what you're doing because you've been doing this for how long? How long has your father been doing this? So it's interesting, and then we even see with uh, Barry's, well, uh, Jay getting with, I guess, marrying the version of uh, his Earth of Nora, uh, Barry's mother. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that's going to go. Overall, did I like the season finale? It was okay. It was okay, it was bearable, but it's not something I want to rehash for a good while. This is something... That really made me angry. Something that makes me angry as a DC fan. Makes me angry as a Flash fan. Because I know they can do better than this. And even if I see a trailer for the 8th season. I'm going to be sitting here and I'm going okay. Let's just see what they can come up with. Pretty much. Let's just see what kind of more ass pulls they do. So let me know what you think guys. I know this is a little bit of a rant. Uh, it was. I ain't going to lie. This season was an embarrassment. This, this season was an embarrassment for a Flash fan. If, if you don't like this season and you feel how I feel, okay, great. If you loved it, that's cool too. But at the same time, let's all be honest here and, and Flash can do better. Let's be honest. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed your day, your night, wherever you're located. And if you guys are new, concerned about subscribing, leave a big fat like on the video. If you guys enjoyed, also click the notification bell so you guys are notified. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.